Hey kids, welcome back to Honestville. Uh, before we get started, I got a couple of news items. Uh, most obviously, uh, you will notice that I have uh, set up a webcam. Uh, it's actually kind of a really crappy webcam that I got for $8 at a second-hand shop when I was buying my second monitor. <laughs> but uh, it does work, and it'll do the job for now. Should be fun. Uh, I'll be playing around with the positioning of like where the webcam is. I think it's down here in the right corner. Um, in terms of on the video and whether that blocks any of the interface and stuff like that. So do let me know what you think. But uh, yeah, also I haven't had a haircut in like six months because of uh, COVID. So, you know, nothing I can do about that. <laughs> uh, in other news, the network add-on mod version 39 is out. And there's some cool new features, some of which I played around with and some of which I haven't gotten to yet. So we may do a little bit of that in this video. Uh, I'm, I've been having trouble with a couple of them actually, so we'll see if I manage to uh, manage to put that in here. But it's something I'll be working on in the next um, in the next few days and weeks. Uh, in other news, a very very helpful comment from uh, One A Day Eleven, who recommended a landfill mod that I had heard of, but not ever or I don't think I'd ever installed it, and I'd sort of forgotten about it. Uh, basically, it's called the Landfill Eraser mod, and the way it works, it's not designed to be used kind of permanently, but it's a mod that gets rid of piles of landfill, and then what you do is you put it in your plugins folder, and you run the clock, so we can actually do that quickly now. And a day, will, a day or two will pass here, and there we go, that landfill is now finally gone. So that stupid garbage problem I've been rattling on about for like, I don't know, five episodes at this point is finally resolved. And then what you do is you just take it out of your, you take it out of your plugin folder afterwards. Otherwise, I guess your city doesn't generate any garbage or something. So I'll leave it in for this episode because we may end up going next door and I may want to use it for those, but I'll take it out and just kind of keep it in a folder so that I can conveniently put it back in if we run into a problem like that again. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a cheat in a certain sense, but it's more of an almost a sort of bug fix, in my opinion, uh, in the sense that uh, it's like nigh on impossible to get rid of the, the, the landfill in the city. So definitely, definitely very, very useful. I'll try and remember to put a link in the video description uh, to that to that mod, uh, or one of you can remind me to do so and I'll do it, because, <laughs> you know, I'm really bad at remembering to do those things. Uh, other than that, uh, this Sunday, kind of another news item. This Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, I will be doing my first ever YouTube live stream. Uh, for this channel. And I came up with a really cool idea for that. I think it's cool anyway. Uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, 1 million population city challenge. We're basically in this three hour live stream. Uh, it may be a bit longer than three hours, but the goal is three hours. <laughs> I will try and get a city to 1 million population. I'll be taking out my doubler mods and kind of just using the network add-on mod and the basic bug fixes, and we'll see if it's possible. I have no idea whether I can do it, but I think it'll be a fun, uh, a fun kind of fast-paced challenge for a YouTube live stream. So that is posted on the channel, the scheduled um, stream is up so uh, make sure to check that out if you're if you're around on Sunday uh, also you can always check out the Monday night live stream uh, which is called Honestville Extra and that's at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I tried to do the Sunday one actually earlier because I know that there are some of you who are in Europe or just not in this time zone so thought a weekend a weekend time uh, at an earlier time of day might be uh, better to get you know for some of you guys schedule and stuff like that uh, as for the Monday night twitch stream it's been a lot of fun I've been getting more and more people coming by there uh, I am however I've been thinking about like what kind of themes it's mostly just been kind of a free form uh, where I just sort of randomly build stuff and test out features of the network add-on mod and stuff but I, I would like to find some themes for that um, Monday evening Twitch stream. So if you have ideas or there's things that you'd like to see in a Twitch stream, it could be me starting in a new region or trying to build a city in a certain way or a certain design or something like that. I am all ears for that. Uh, Twitch is kind of this weird thing where if you, you just start playing a game and it, you know, sometimes I just like... One, one day I was just like building a highway interchange and then decorating it and spent three hours doing that. And, you know, that can be cool and stuff like that, but it can also be cool to have sort of a structure or a goal. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think would be fun to watch on Twitch. And feel free to drop in. Uh, we do have some naming suggestions. Uh, just a couple couple basic ones here. So uh, Connor O'Neill recommended that I take this Pioneer Head Bridge here. Which 
I guess I didn't put an actual label. I name it the Gatekeeper Bridge. Because it kind of guards the gate to the uh, to this lady lake here. So I think that's fantastic. We'll go with that. And L. Sumetz, regular commenter, uh, suggested that I name the Central Park uh, Robriel Park in reference to my name and I guess, that's, you know, I don't have my French keyboard on there, otherwise I would be able to type the accent in there. Uh, but uh, I usually turn the French keyboard off. Uh, um, I was going to put the accent on the E, like in Montreal. So, in reference to Montreal, the city where I live, and my name, and I think that's cool, so we'll go with that. And that's it for today, for naming suggestions. Remember, you can always comment on the video to name uh, really anything in the city, so um, feel free to leave a comment if you're uh, new to this channel or whatever, if you want to name a neighborhood or a street or a landmark or what have you. Now, for this episode, I do want to try out uh, one of the new network add-on mod features, and I will try it on screen. I have sort of not been super successful with using it thus far, but, uh, but I'll be interested to see if I can get it to work. I'm just going to do it where I already have, like, I'd like, the idea here would actually be to do, do some kind of avenue or maybe double one way uh, and, and restore that straight rail line as it was before. This is a real terrible workaround that I that I did recently. Uh, but I'm going to try and use the the new network add-on mod uh, flexible underpass thing. Ooh, i got to be really careful here because I think, I think actually that piece needs to be there for it. But we'll see. Uh, and so the way, where it's found, and this is actually really, really weird. It's not actually in the flops piece, as I understand it. It's all the way down here in, what is it? Our road RHW overpasses and interface puzzle pieces, which is a really strange place to, to put it, in my opinion. Uh, I, they must have their reasons, uh, but actually it's at the very end of this one here, and it says RHW2 ramp connecting to underground road, rotate for other ramps, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully we can fit it in here. It does need to be on flat terrain, though. So, you know what? Maybe we'll just flatten the terrain out. Oh, we can't. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see. This might be a bit of a mess. It might not look very nice. Um, but, like I said, this is really just a test that I'd like to do on screen. I'm really, really hoping that I can just get this to bloody well work. I'm not going to flatten it. It says to flatten it, and I know why it says to flatten it. I believe it's because... I believe it's because there's like a little minor graphical glitch if we don't flatten the train, um, which I've seen when experimenting with it. But I want to see if I can actually get traffic to flow on this, which I have not tried yet. Sorry, it's actually at the very end, so I can just hit the shift tab thing here. Rotate it so that it's sort of pointed the right way. Oh, I think it's this way that we want it. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay. Yeah. See, it's 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 got some graphical quirks that do not take kindly to be placed on uh, to to being placed on non-flat terrain. I don't know whether that will connect or not. Um, I might actually be able to fix that end of it without much hassle. And then the idea behind these flexible underpass ramps is that you can actually use subway to connect them. Ooh. Interesting. See, the thing is, I'm not convinced because in the video that Sim Tarkas posted, it showed the subway kind of turns into an underground road. So I'm not really sure if this is going to work at all. I know that I think you do need the connector piece over top, as I understand it. And the cool thing about these is that they can actually go under buildings. It might not seem like what I've just done might not seem that much more advanced than, say, what we had before. But they can actually go under buildings, which is something that the old flexible underpass pieces could not do. And it would be possible to do things like maybe go under bridges and stuff like that. So I think it's going to have a lot of potential. I, I don't think this will work. I, I'm going to be on the forums and trying to figure out... Ooh, it does look like there's a route. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just a holdover from before. Uh, let's uh, let's unpause and see if there's any traffic on that. But I, I really don't... I uh, really don't think there will be. I don't think it's going to work. I can also try... Oh, interesting. Okay. No, no. It's that. It's interesting. When I click on the actual... When I click on the actual road uh, here... Oh, it does seem to be working. Shit. Well, that, that, that solves it then. Uh, I think that works. 
I don't see... Do I see volume on it? Let's get rid of this. I don't see volume on it on the data view. I do see... the congestion... map here. I, anyway, I'm not entirely... I'm going to leave it, actually. I'm going to leave it and we'll just see. I'm not entirely convinced that it works. And it's weird, too, because it's like... It's supposed to be a flex piece where you drag the subway and it it turns into this like road tunnel and I'm not sure if I've just dragged it wrong or if I'm using the wrong the wrong tool or something like that but anyway we we shall see we shall see if um if and how that all that all works out um man I keep forgetting that you can see the wow there's like a bunch of missing bus stops here aren't there I don't know I keep forgetting that you can see these little blue dots as the bus stops that's awesome one of the other new features, uh, not from the network atom. That was that's from like version 37 or something. There's another tool in here that I'll try at some point. No, I'm not, I haven't done it yet. Uh, it's these road viaduct alternate styles, and it's meant for uh, I think it's on slope uh, overpasses. <coughs> so yeah, we'll we'll try and see if we find an opportunity to check that out. On this episode, however, um, I think we're going to actually build rather than just you know work on a park or whatever. Boy, there's a lot of traffic here. A lot of traffic there. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder what is prompting that traffic. I guess it's just the jobs over here. What's going on there? Where are people going? Also because there's an underpass here. And also because there's a park that blocks off uh, roads, so... So this, you know, a park like this is going to create traffic hassles, and I think this will probably need to be updated, upgraded to uh, an avenue. I also don't think that we can do an avenue with those new flexible underpasses, but uh, we shall see. Uh, if anything, I'll split an avenue. That thing that I just tried there, I'll split an avenue into two, um, two one ways, and then do two of those subway-based flexible underpasses. Ooh, we're getting some highway traffic. Neat. Where are they going? Essentially like they're taking the highway to go to the industry so that's cool highway is finally getting some use uh, I still don't know whether th this is working I there is nothing built a few of you pointed out in the comments that there's nothing built on the other side of this and so it, it you know we can't really effectively test it until something is actually built but uh, but we're gonna be we're gonna be working on that soon so I want to go to the regional view here just want to make sure I didn't miss anything no nope. uh, let's go to the regional view and oh yeah shit I forgot uh, I did miss something uh, I got another another garbage related mod uh, which is, I think it's called the Black Hole Waste Management, and I'm going to be using that. I think it's, it's. Um, I'll show you why. Boy, that was a long save. Okay. Um, I think if we use this guy, I won't plop it right now. Well, I'll plop one, and then I'll probably just delete it, because I'm probably going to delete all these guys. But what I like about this one, so this, this basically, as I understand it, uh, it basically gets rid of trash for the whole city at a cost of 1,000. It just has a very high capacity. Uh, it's like a very high capacity version of this. I actually don't mind the way it looks. Uh, I don't mind the way it looks. It kind of looks like a sort of uh, industrial building of the sort of same era as a lot of the other buildings. So rather than having five of these, I, I might do a mix. I might do a mix of this and some landfill and stuff like that, but I'm definitely not going to be fighting with it. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll experiment with that off screen and see, you know, how many of those we need for tile, but that's, that's, the, the problem is being fixed. I'm not really interested in the, van, in the vanilla tools for managing trash in this game at this point, because they're just uh, a bit of a fucking hassle. So uh, let's, uh, let's head back out to the regional view. And we're gonna we're gonna expand along the rail lines first. I don't want to dive into I don't want to open a can of worms with uh, highway construction quite yet, but I do want to expand the city along railroad lines. And I'm thinking maybe northeast ward, and then afterwards south ward along these sort of linear rail lines. Um, so I'm gonna kind of avoid building near this highway for now, but we will absolutely um, very soon start doing so. I've got some neighbor connections here, which these these should probably be where the uh, the ramps are focused. But uh, once again, we're gonna we're gonna leave that for now. Oh, I've got the, an avenue here as well. So let's uh, just drag out. These are some new neighbor connections I made. Uh, this is going to need to go across. Like 
that. Just uh, we can drag this. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. We'll do it. We'll do it. Why not? I'm gonna structure the city here. I'm not gonna be building along all these roads anyway, but and I'll probably adjust the. This one's probably gonna need to kind of curve over or something. We can just take it over here for now. Uh, this is not a permanent, permanent road map plan for this region. Just, just kind of connecting up the existing neighbor connections that we have. So. Can I? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Let's do that for now. This needs to be leveled out. But again, I'm not going to go overboard with that. And so, yeah, this rail line goes under here. I do think that we will just kind of extend this road over the hill. It's not that, it's a kind of a gentle hill. To look at our demand, we basically have demand for everything at this point. Ooh, that is so weird. Oh, there we go. We have demand for everything in this tile, so we can build whatever the fuck we want. I should, uh, I have not done taxes yet for this tile, so let's do that quickly. Uh, I'm just going to tax the shit out of um, these two, because we're trying to get those, we're trying to encourage those to develop in the central tile. Yep. And let's, let's kind of build a rail suburb here. I also, I might want to do, I think this tile might be cool for a rail trench. So let's uh, let's do that as well. I think that's going to be kind of fun. In fact, just delete this. There's kind of an interesting gentle sloping hill here that might form a neat natural trench. I'm going to leave the neighborhood connection, the neighbor connection, intact, and we'll see what kind of results we get. Maybe we can use some of those new street overpasses or something like that. But I'm going to. Uh, I also have some. Tr um, a sunken highway wall set that I was experimenting with um, on Twitch actually, and so be really interested to see how that looks. Uh, we need to rotate for digger piece here. We're going to go 7.5 meter trench, and I think this could be a, an interesting extension of the city. Going to be medium, uh, medium density. Oh, this is cool. The trench is going to get a lot deeper here. I might actually need to, yeah, probably going to need to slope that back up a bit here. Maybe we'll just start with a short stretch of it, because we're not going to be building an infinite amount of rail either here. And we're just going to use on-slope overpasses, so, yeah, that's fine. Actually, nice, steady slope down. Okay, and then let's... That's a bit intense, if I'm honest. I'm not sure that I I want quite so dramatic a trench. And I don't want a tunnel. Uh, let's see if I can get it to be a little bit less. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. You can sort of see in the preview, it works quite well, actually, this new... Uh... And then I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. But I do like this idea of, of, a, of a trench the whole length. It looks quite nice once, it, once you build it up. Uh, some of the overpasses are going to be a little bit janky. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and I'm going to use the sunken station that I have. So let's place one of those right away. In fact, we may just build in this area. i got to make sure. I might have to double check and make sure that I've got power in this tile. But... We may just build in in the around this station here, uh, leave the areas around the edge of the map uh, for later. I used one of these, I think, in Plantation Bay, but I wonder whether that's going to look good here. It should be fairly level. Let's just plant it and see. It looks fine to me. A closer look at it and make sure it doesn't look uh, batshit crazy. This, I do, I believe this actually functions as a pedestrian path, so. Um, we should probably, I'm thinking that we should probably build right away something high capacity. Maybe we'll use a network widening mod road to connect to this. So 
let's grab, um, I like, I like that, that one I've been using a lot recently. Oh, that's a neighbor connection, whoops. Uh, network widening one neighbor connections, maybe at some point we'll try one of those, although god, considering how much trouble it has been to get the... I mean, how much trouble I, I have had. Um, hmm, I don't think that's actually a good idea. Let's uh, flip that around. That. I'd like it to have the little cul-de-sac type thing. Oh, interesting. It does not have a... Huh, oh, that's kind of frustrating. Well, I'll leave it for now. Uh, I was hoping it would have a little... Some kind of end piece, basically. Sort of like that. Uh, I'm... That's obviously... I'm not going to keep that like that, but... I'm going to just do it like that for now. I'm just curious. I might play around with that a bit later. Anyway, we'll build a neighborhood along... Something like this. Actually, yeah, we do need something going over top of the tracks as well. Some kind of overpass for sure. And we can do the same thing over here. That's a starter piece. That's weird. What the fuck is up with that? And yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this for now. This is just insane. Okay. It's going to be like that for now, but there's got to be a better way to do this. I might... Hmm. Not sure I like that. I don't think I like it at all, actually. I think we're going to... We're going to do a... A one-way system that kind of serves the neighborhoods. Um, maybe a higher capacity one-way system. Mm-hmm. So, like, my idea would be something that comes in here. Get rid of that for now. Like that. That is a one-way system that kind of drives by. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's uh, plot it out on the other side, too. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I think that definitely makes sense. <clears throat> so let me just get, grab a starter piece here for a wider, maybe three-lane one-way street. see how that looks. I don't know if I can uh, drag it over the street and have it work. No. Okay. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. We'll see how that works with all the intersections and stuff, but I really, I really am hoping that that some of this, um, yeah, see, we could almost, hmm, no, we're not going to do an overpass there. Okay. I think that's going to be cool. Cool way to kind of structure the neighborhood around, uh, around this train station. We'll do the same thing here. Uh, i got to make sure... Probably make sure that it sort of makes sense know that it makes that... I think it, yeah, it should kind of follow the same pattern. Hmm. So that this street is running that way. God, I really cannot see that starter piece. Just need to rotate it. Um... Cool.
because we always get so much traffic around those um, train stations that I figured that it would be cool to uh, cool to to sort of plan it with a higher capacity to begin with. Now, let's get some underpasses under the rail going, and I think we can do a flexible underpass there. I don't think I'm going to use the new one for now, uh, because I really do just want to get a sense of uh, how it works before I start plopping them all over the place. I don't want to have to go back and fix a bunch of them if I'm doing them wrong, so we're just going to use the, the kind of OG puzzle piece based uh, flexible underpass for now. But, no, that's this way that we want it. And on the other side. That. Sort of service road here. And then we need to do the rest of that. It's gonna be cool neighborhood design. I'm uh, looking forward to it. This this little rail-based neighborhood design, and we'll we'll be kind of replicating this, I think, uh, further down this. Ooh, what was that? That's not that's incorrect, isn't it? Uh, let me just double check here. Yeah. Fuck. Please, please work. Okay, good. Sometimes I've been finding with this uh, with this dual track rail. Um, that sometimes it like does not want to drag when it's near other things, and and I know that's because of the the kind of built-in slope mod. Uh, I have I got to admit I've been finding the slope mod to be a little bit too restrictive um, for the rail. I understand the kind of realism aims of it, but it's it it it's you know I build one thing that works, and then I try I have to delete something, and then I try and replicate the thing that I just built on the same terrain with the same slope and. And it doesn't always work, so it's a little bit, little bit frustrating. But I'm getting better at it too, though. Um, there are a couple custom surface four, custom surface one. Get the green surface here is kind of neat. Sort of matches the parkland. But yeah, so we would be able to um, potentially build on these tiles if we were using the new subway method. That's kind of the idea there. Uh, we'll see. We need uh, bus stops as well for this. I'm playing around with the bus stops that are located on the street as well. Let's place these on, up on either side. We need bus stops there, for sure. And... I'm going to need at least... Well, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do an overpass over here. Let's, let's maybe try the new one. So we're going to be going... This kind of that's where it's going to be located anyway. It's not going to be a perfectly level one because I, I haven't made the slope perfect, but I think I'm okay with it. Uh, let's uh, might be able to make some adjustments if I need to if I feel like it's really really grim. Okay, so this is the alternate viaduct style stone steel Japanese facelift crossing. Okay, let's try the stone one. I really don't know how this works, though, so we're just gonna have to... Oh! Wow. Uh... That looks fantastic! So, let me just try and delete this. See if I can do that again. Now, how did I do that? <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, well, that's amazing. That was super easy. No puzzle piece, nothing. Wow, well, we're going to be... If, if this works, as long as this works... Oh, and then you can drag into it to change it to street or whatever. So if, we're, if, we, if, if this works well, we are going to be using that for sure. Because the other thing that's cool about this is that it's on slope. And you can see that it rises up, but it's like... It doesn't have that jagged uh, a connection, even though it's actually not a perfectly level bridge. And this stone texture is fantastic. We can try the steel one too, but I quite like that stone texture. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to zone now. Uh, but there is well, actually, before we zone, why don't we just do this right away? Um, there there are these walls, which are located in for some reason the power menu. 
which I was looking for these earlier. These are really easy to use and they look fantastic. Uh, the one I want though is rural highway. There's a residential one, I think. It's, I think I want the I want the the rural one. These are designed for um, highway tunnels, but they work quite well for rail as well. Sunken rural highway walls, one by one straight. So I'm gonna test it over here just to just to figure out which way the arrow goes. I always forget. Yeah, that's it. So the arrow points up. Uh, I quite like these, and they do, I believe, have a slight park value, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there is a, I think there's a transition piece. But I think that's going to look pretty good with, um, yeah, with the stone texture that we have there. I think that, uh, that that works. I think the arrow needs to point up. There are some fancy ways of doing this. Um, there's there's one piece that's supposed to kind of create the the illusion of a tunnel like this, but sort of not necessary anymore with those uh, with those really cool new um, new um, overpasses. So I'm just going to stick with this guy, I think. I will, however, try and find the... There's a an end piece, I think. Oh, yeah, see, this is not ideal. There might be an on-slope one, too, if I recall correctly, for this kind of situation. Let's just see here, see if I can find that quickly. But I, I did a whole trench like this in, uh, in one of my test regions, and it was fantastic. There's also some little detailed ones here, emergency exits, and, and we'll, we'll play around with some more details of this, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, a preview of this. Um, tunnel right sides, pedestrian bridge. Uh, I'm not going to fiddle around with that. I've not had much success with these, making these bridges work, and I think they're mostly designed for... I think they're specifically designed for the highways, so I don't think they work for this particular situation. Straight transitional section. No, no, no. Well, that might be the... No, I'm not, I don't think that's what that's for. So let's, let's take a couple, uh, quick look quick uh, here and just see vertical transition, emergency exits. I think that's. I think I'm just going to stick with the basic piece for now. I do want to see what an emergency exit looks like. Oh, so we'll put one here. Put an emergency exit there and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's some kind of. You can see, there's sort of an exit. I, yeah, it's a bit weird. Maybe that's this is supposed to be a staircase or something. It's, it's not very clear to me what the, what what's, what that's trying to be there. But also, this is not like perfectly level and, and flush and everything. But I think just from a distance, it looks fantastic. Yeah, I think it looks uh, looks pretty cool uh, in terms of creating the um, and it, it it works pretty well with that station and with these stone arches. So we're gonna we're gonna continue to work with that. I'm just going to do a short segment for, segment for now, though. And I'm going to figure out as well what I want to do with... Um, we might go into... I might do something along here as well. Probably not, though. Let's, uh, let's zone. I think we'll start with uh, residential, and we'll do some commercial afterwards. Uh, bus stops first. Here. I'm gonna do kind of one block out, one or two blocks out from this. And I gotta make sure that this has got power as well. Go two blocks out. Got uh, power. Ooh, ooh. Don't do it that way. Whoops! I almost, I almost reversed the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Two blocks out. 
And then maybe next episode we will um Maybe next episode we will uh, we will try and what the f actual fuck. I need to probably just go with road here. Is there like a neighbor or um? I think there might actually be a starter piece there or something that was preventing me from dragging over it. All right, that's looking pretty good. Don't really mind the grid expanding onto this hill a bit over there. Uh, the rest of the bus stops, please. Probably some like this road is going to bring it come out here. See if there's like an avenue or something. What's that? Another road. Yeah. We'll bring that right out here as well. That's fine. I don't mind that the these these are shorter blocks. Uh, this one will be probably a bit of a longer block actually. That's that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with that. Build it right out to that, and that way it's all connected up. It's all connected up to the neighbor cities and everything. And hopefully they'll actually use the bus, but... Uh... Yeah, that's, that's how it should be. Okay. Uh, let's throw a park in uh, near this train station. I'm just going to put a medium flower garden. Oh. Not what I intended. I'm put a medium flower garden here. Or maybe there. Let's put it there. On that side, and then a uh, medium park green on this side kind of the center of the community, this train station. And then let's zone. Okay, uh, well, it's a bit silly, but it's okay. Band here. Yep. Make sure that there's nothing too close to the rail line. This is probably fine. Might be a bit ugly. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not too Got an extra tile there where we can place some kind of park type thing as well. on this hilltop too. Maybe that'll be, could actually be kind of a little manor district up there. Um, that could be cool. Oh, I'm missing a bus stop. Yeah, we're missing a bus stop there. 
I do have an idea for some kind of texture along there, but I'm not going to bother with that uh, this episode. May do it. Uh, may do it next next time or whatever. Uh, we need water and we need power. Do I have a power connection here? I should. If I need to build a power station sort of temporarily just to uh, make this build up, then I will. But uh, hoping I can just use the gigantic power station next door. That's the whole idea of that. Uh, looks everything looks good. Just water. Uh, we'll go with a just a basic uh, tower for now. Stick it in there. I do need to enact the power deal, or we're not going to get power there. But we'll see. We're not going to get water or power. And I should probably build a school or something, but I might hold off on that for a second. Can we have a power deal, please? Neighbor deals. Power. Yes, excellent. Now we'll have water and power. You. Try and get some use in that central station. Church. And interesting. What is this? Oh, it's a... Why, do we, why are we getting that? That is the, what, the resort hotel or something? Interesting. I thought that you that only came in, like, water tiles or whatever. Uh, we can put a resort hotel up in this mountain, though. That'll be really cool. I'm not going to do it right at this minute, but uh, definitely that'd be, that would be fantastic to build a resort hotel kind of on this, this mountain here. I think that we've decided to call that mountain Mount Ozark. So let's, uh, let's let that develop. I am going to drop down to school quickly. Put it in this kind of central location. I'm not going to go totally broke here. Uh, let's uh, let's actually export trash just for now. I will be doing. Uh, I talked about this uh, a few episodes ago. Oh, we're running out of water. I had to change that that uh, tower to a pump. I talked about uh, building kind of. Um, Oh yeah, we're gonna do garbage here. So let's go with um, go with North Ward for now. And I'm gonna replace that water tower with a water pump. I don't know why I bothered actually with the tower. And uh, let's place a church. Is it right there? Again, this whole this whole neighborhood, I think, is going to be based around this rail line. And there will be suburban areas, like up on the edge of the mountain and stuff like that. There will be some of this will... You know, I, I do get um, regular comments, both here and on Twitch, about... Oh, Rob, why don't you build suburbs? And yeah, we're going to start. We're going to start building them soon as we expand out here. But the idea would be that there'll be a dense kind of urban area that along this railroad track. And then along the highways and, and the kind of radial boulevards and stuff, it'll be a little bit, um, not this inner ring highway, but along the highways that expand out in these areas, there will be a little bit um, more suburban and on the edges of this hill, these hills and stuff, so. A lot of demand for, um, how much traffic we're getting here. Oh, weird. Oh, that's the... Weird. I've never done that before. I've never seen that. Uh, what I want here is the rail station, please. Thank you. Oh, everybody's using it. That's excellent. And lots of rail traffic. Yeah, I really like these... Uh, I really like these, these trenches here. And I, I like this one, too, because because the terrain kind of changes, it's going to kind of go up and down and up and down, and, and we'll get various types of little bridges and stuff, a whole, a whole system along it where the train's running fairly level and stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, I, I'm going to end this episode here. I know it's... Um, I'm just going to let this develop a bit more here. I'm going to end this episode here. I know, uh, I know we didn't do that much, uh, but there's uh, lots to look forward to uh, in this... 
in this in this new region, and we're probably going to continue developing along here uh, in the next in the next few episodes. So there we go. Can you put out that fire, please? Thank you. So yeah, remember to uh, submit comments uh, with the name suggestions as always. Also, uh, check out this Sunday uh, the YouTube live stream uh, where I'm going to be building a city of one million, hopefully in three hours, unless I totally screw up, which would be hilarious. Uh, and then, uh, as usual, Mondays, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, on Twitch is Honestville Extra, where I play SimCity 4 on Twitch. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Ciao.